You ever had somebody that you know uh, that just keeps hitting your line? They keep sending you texts. They might send you DMs. They might be hitting you up, calling you and whatnot. But you just, you, you don't pick up and you don't respond to them. Because you just don't feel like it at that time. So that person, they consistent, they remain consistent and they remain persistent in calling you, texting you, just really trying to say, hey, what's up? Let me know something. But you just keep on egging them. And then that same person is like, all right, they keep ignoring me. You know what? I'm going to start spreading some rumors about them. I'm going to start talking to some other people about them and letting those other people know like, hey, I've been trying. I've been doing my part, but this person just won't respond to me. I don't know why. And then that paints that negative light on you. And that's what it seems to be between Lamar Jackson uh, and the Baltimore Ravens. Shout out to my guy, Ronald. Quote the Ravens on Twitter uh, for bringing this to all of our attention. Uh, that Mike Garofalo uh, was on NFL Network this morning. Uh, and he was speaking on the Lamar Jackson contract. And he said the Ravens have been hitting Lamar Jackson up. He said they've been sending him contract offers, been sending him deals, but Lamar Jackson hasn't even been saying no, hasn't even been like negotiating like, all right, no, this is my counter offer. They, they said Lamar Jackson has just not even been responding to it. Not even been responding to it. And again, some, some people thought that I was crazy when I said that I do not see a deal happening this offseason between the Ravens and Lamar Jackson. Um, but I also think that it is not crazy that you continue to hear these stories and all this stuff get put out about one Lamar Jackson and the contract talks between him and the Baltimore Ravens. It's not a coincidence at all. It's business. So many reporters and analysts, they are making this a distraction when Lamar is not. Of course, you know the Ravens, they want to get a deal done. Why would the Ravens want to get a deal done? Because they can lock up Lamar for the foreseeable future and in the right here, right now, they can save a boatload of cap room. So this can allow them to make even more moves than they would anticipate making because they could get a nice little chunk like 10 to 12 to 14 million of salary cap space relief if they can just extend one Lamar Jackson. Then they can put this all behind them. But it's not happening right now. And it doesn't seem like it's even going to be close to happening. Now, things could, of course, change, but I don't see anything changing until the earliest 2023. But hey, that's just me. But with Lamar Jackson, um, these reporters and media, they're making it the distraction that Lamar Jackson is not. So many times you hear about quarterbacks when it comes to them getting their deals. Uh, they may hold out from their team. They may say, oh, I'm not stepping on that field. And, and this is not even just quarterbacks, just players in general. When they want a new deal, so many players, they let it be known. Like, hey, I want to get paid. I'm not playing until I get paid. I'm holding out. And if I don't get paid, I'm not playing. And then some of the other players even go the route of, hey, trade me, get rid of me. I'm out of here. I don't want to be here no more. You've seen plenty of it over time. But Lamar Jackson is doing the exact opposite. He hasn't said anything. He hasn't said anything. But he, every time you see him on social media when it comes to something related to football, he's just throwing the football, just practicing, trying to get better in the offseason. That's it. Not talking about the contract, not bringing up the contract. Even when he was on the shop the other day, I was thinking, I was watching it thinking, all right, what's he going to say about the contract? What's he going to say about the contract talks with him and the Ravens and whatnot? He talked about Harbaugh, how cool Harbaugh is. He talked about... Uh, the Ravens, the team, he talked about him in Hollywood and whatnot. He talked about how he wants to win. He talked about how he likes to send the opposing team's fans home upset, and he wants to send Ravens fans home happy. He talked about wanting to be a billionaire. He talked about wanting to win the Super Bowl. Did not mention the contract not one time. Not one time. Then when I thought about it, I was like, ah, you know what? I ain't mad at that. Because had he mentioned that contract, he would have given a lot of people exactly what they wanted, and they would have taken that and twisted it. Now, the Ravens, um, it could be said that this could be the Ravens that could be leaking a lot of this stuff out to try to sort of put some pressure on Lamar Jackson to be like, hey, we know that you always hear the streets when they're talking about you. You always hear people when they're talking about you and you listen to that. You hear all that stuff. And so what we're going to do, we're going to put a little pressure on Lamar Jackson, and really try to get him to sign whatever deal we offered him. Because, you know, that public perception, it's not everything, but it can be a lot and it can weigh on a lot of people. And some people can look at the public perception and be like, oh, man, oh, that's tough. I, I don't like. Oh, man. I, oh, man. 
what are they saying about me? And that could bother them. Then they could be like, you know what? Let me just sign a deal. Let's just sign a deal. All these people talking about, oh, I don't know what I'm doing because I don't got no agent. Oh, my mom, she don't know what she's doing because she's not an agent. Oh, man, they, 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 what, what, what are we? You know what? Let's just, all right, let's, let's just go ahead and get it over with so we can move past that. That's real, man. It, it's, it's real. You may not want to think it is. You may not want to believe it is, but it is real. Um, teams will do this type of stuff. And I'm not saying that the Ravens are doing it, but I'm also not saying that they are not. Eric DaCosta. A couple weeks ago, and it was the second time that he mentioned it, um, he has said twice publicly, like, hey, we are, it's on Lamar Jackson. He said it at the end of season press conference, and he said it at the, uh, when he was at the combine. He said, we are going at Lamar Jackson's urgency. We're going at his pace. Uh, he said, Lamar Jackson knows where to find me. I know where to find him. And he said that he's reached out. He said, they've had conversations now. Uh, but he put everything publicly on Lamar Jackson. He put the ball in Lamar Jackson's court. Like, hey, when Lamar Jackson wants to get this thing done, that's when he'll get it done. So he's publicly said all the, uh, the quote-unquote right things to, to sort of push it on Lamar. Like, see, to, to tell everybody, like, hey, look, hey, I'm doing what I got to do. But it's Lamar. He's the one that don't want to do it. He's the one that's, hey, it's, it's, it's on him. But Lamar has just been quiet about it. And see, when you, uh, you know, with agents, agents obviously play a big role in contract negotiation, negotiating, excuse me. Um, they are the middle man. Uh, they are the middle woman. They can be sort of that liaison between the player and the team to bring it together. Uh, and the player, they can go play, focus on that. And the agent, they can focus on doing all the contract work. And that's true. That, that, that's a lot of the agent's job. But another part of the agent's job is to sort of try to control the narrative or either push a narrative, too. Um, and with that being said, if you have no agent, then there's no agent to counter this narrative for you that's being put out there to the public. Uh, and there's no agent to push a certain narrative for you out to the public either. But see, the Ravens, their, their front office, they, they got people that could push some stuff out there. They got reporters, they got leaks, they got information, they, they got all of that stuff where they could push it out there and be like, hey, all right, we, okay, man, he ain't hit us back yet. Oh, you know, all right. They hit up a reporter, say, hey, this is what's going on. They, they leak information. It happens all the time, man. It happens all the time. <laughs> like, some people really think that teams are just so innocent and that these teams and organizations are like, oh, no, we're going to do everything right by every single play. No. It's business, man. It ain't like that. It's really not. We wish it would be, but it's, it's just not like that. So that's why I never get mad at a player for trying to get their bread, whether it's Lamar or anybody else. But another thing, too, to keep in mind with Lamar Jackson, the way that this thing is being done is being done so differently. Like there have been other players that haven't had agents. Of course, some of the more notable recent ones are Richard Sherman. Uh, Bobby Wagner, uh, even Orlando Brown Jr., they said that he's deciding if he wants to hire an agent or not. But their deals that they've done, Orlando Brown Jr. hasn't done his yet, but as far as Richard Sherman, he did his, but he was a cornerback. Bobby Wagner, he did his. He's a linebacker. But Lamar Jackson, there has never been a deal done at this level for a quarterback without an agent. And one of the big reasons that so many people are talking negatively about this is because one is Lamar Jackson. Uh, but another thing, too, is because if he strikes a deal with no agent, game changing money, market money, resetting the market money at quarterback position, it is going to change the game. Now, not saying that, oh, all these agents are going to go out of business now because they're not. And I still expect more people to have agents than most, but it's going to show a lot of people like, hold up. I could keep like most of my money in-house or really all of my money in-house. I don't got to hire an agent. Oh, we can do this thing on our own. I, oh, okay, I can have somebody in my family take care. Oh, man. Or oh, I could just hire a couple of lawyers for a couple of hours so they can go over some stuff. Oh, I don't got to. Oh, they don't got to get that 3% or 6%, whatever it is. Oh, that's, that's coming to me. Oh, oh, let's go. So there have been a lot of agents that have been talking and it's still a lot of media that's been talking, too. But a lot of agents have been talking like, no, Lamar Jackson and his mom, they don't know what they're doing. 
They don't know how to get this thing done. Oh, they're going to mess it up. So that has led a lot of fans to think the same thing, that they're incapable of doing it. And you see some people get really nasty about it, too. It's, it's really sad to see, and it's a shame. But people really think that, again, Lamar and his mom and his camp, that they are incapable of getting this thing done. But their, their history for being their own agents and keeping everything in-house so far, it's going pretty well. It's going quite fine. So I would not put it past them to be able to get this thing done. Because they have, they have the leverage. They have all the leverage in the world. Because it's Ravens who need that cap space. Lamar don't need a cap space. Lamar ain't the, he ain't the Ravens cap person. Lamar's a quarterback. Ravens got to handle that cap space, not him. So Ravens, of course, they feeling all that pressure. They really want to get this thing done so they can knock it out. They want to get it done. And then the following year, I'm sure everybody has heard about, oh, the, the Ravens possibly franchise tagging Lamar. They do that. That's a lot. of That's even more cap space. All to Lamar. All guaranteed for that one year. And while that wouldn't give him long term uh, st stability for that one year, that's a lot of money. And then what, if you do it a following year, too, it's even more money on the cap. Now, the cap will be going up. But still, that'll be a fat chunk of money on that salary cap. But that's not Lamar's problem. That's Ravens' problem. But that's why you know that like, they really want to do everything in their power to put that pressure on Lamar Jackson to get this thing done and get this thing done now. But I still don't think it's happening. Love y'all. We out.